nice. <laughs> okay, so I talked to my publicist, and unfortunately, I can't bring you the worst thing that I've ever done, because I'm trying to get, like, some business. <laughs> so I will bring you the second worst thing I've ever done. Okay, let me put my purse down, because it's going to be good. <laughs> Okay, as Fred so eloquently sang, I am originally from Detroit, and uh, it's kind of crazy up there. <laughs> so I was probably about 17 or 18. I'm 33 now, so it's been a while. I'm past the safe zone. The police can't get me. Um, so I had just bought my first car, a 1992 Ford Tempo. It was the shit. <laughs> Yes, I had big plans for it. I had saw like some 13-inch some rims I wanted to put on there and all kind of shit. That was going to get me some dope man tinted windows and all kind of stuff. So I called up my homegirl. I was like, girl, I just came from Lil Willie the Hair Pimp getting my hair done. Let's go out in the tempo. So <laughs> it was like the middle of winter, you know, and we was all cute and stuff with our little, you know, Lil Willie hairstyles. And we decided to stop at this uh, corned beef place in the middle of the hood. Now, I don't know if any of you know anything about Detroit, but, you know, risking your life at 3 in the morning for a corned beef sandwich is not a good idea. <laughs> that, that shit is just wrong. So I go in, and I get my sandwich, and we like, oh, girl, we got, we got kush, we got <laughs> corned beef. We about to do it big. <laughs> so we hear, like, this boom, and the car shook, and I'm like, oh shit, they shooting. No, this drunk wino old man slammed into me and decided he was gonna keep going. Well, fuck that, I'm from the west side, bitch, we about to roll out. <laughs> so we, uh, we chased this dude down until he like pulls over, and I'm like, I can't believe you gonna hit my shit and keep going. And he's like, well, if you had your hands home at three o'clock in the morning with your man, you wouldn't have this problem. Ain't that a bitch? So we, <laughs> you know, so I'm like, that ain't the point, man. You need to give me your insurance information. So he's all like, look, you know, here go my ID, here go my insurance stuff. You know, just call me tomorrow. I got warrants. <laughs> so he calls off and I call the next day and I'm like calling the insurance company and somebody pick up the phone and was like, what's up? <laughs> what's up? What the fuck? Is this your fault insurance? <laughs> She's like, hold on a minute. I need you to turn them wings over there, and I'll get to your hair in just a minute. <laughs> Are y'all cooking fried fish and wings up in the insurance place? Is this even a real business? And she was like, bitch, okay, you just answered my question. <laughs> I called the man back and I'm like, yeah, is this Tyrone? Well, look, you hit my shit last night and I don't even appreciate that. I want to know what you going to do. I ain't going to do shit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, furthermore, don't be calling my house with this bull. Oh, okay, so you want to have it like that, huh? I am not paying for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I told you how I felt. You should have been at home. And he hung the phone up on me. So at this point, I'm like about to go like David Banner, Hulk and shit, like, oh, hell no. Let me call my cousins up. Yeah, you still work at the light company? Listen, I need you to cut this dude's lights off. <laughs> yeah, I need you to hook that up. I got $20 for you, you know, and a nickel bag. So, you know, do a good job. <laughs> so then I called the gas company. And I called and I put on this voice and was like, hi, I'd like to try to get my grandfather's uh, gas turned off. He's going to be going to the home for a while. It's like he's, he's got Alzheimer's, so if he calls and says that nobody's supposed to cut it off, don't listen to granddad. He kind of tripping. The, the medicine makes him loopy. <laughs> so, yeah, I had the shit turned off and I called the next day and was like, mm-hmm. How I feel to be reading a TV guide in the dark, bitch. <laughs> Nah, you got until 6 o'clock to meet me at Avis Ford to hook up my fucking tempo. I can't believe that. I'm going to call the police. Remember, you got warrants, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so needless to say, I got the tempo hooked up and I got my tent. That's my worst story. <laughs>